Hello, and welcome to Vicon Valeris Tutorials. In this video, we'll review the IPC Config Discovery tool, and we'll show how to take advantage of a couple of its most useful features. This discovery tool is compatible with many of Vicon IP cameras, including the Surveyor MK2 and the 940 series. You may download the IPC Config tool from the Vicon website and install it on your computer. Run the tool from the provided shortcut. On some computers, you may need to run as an administrator. You can do that by right-clicking on the shortcut and selecting that option. As the IPC config tool loads up, it'll attempt to discover any compatible cameras on the network. Like other tools, it'll only discover cameras on the same LAN and cannot find ones on a different VLAN. The tool will display a list of the discovered devices on the top and dome video related tool on the bottom. In this video, we'll focus on the top part, so we'll minimize the bottom one. On the top right, you can see buttons that allow searching for new cameras, refreshing the list for status updates, and removing older items. An important feature when performing a manual search is the ability to select how the tool searches. Clicking the broadcast button will repeat the standard discovery process. There is no need to specify IP addresses. Entering an IP range to search in and clicking on the search button will perform a search in the range defined. This search will find IP cameras on a different VLAN as well, as long as they are accessible on those IP addresses. Checking the cyclic search box will keep the search tool running in a loop until it's unchecked. This can be used to repeat searches if needed. In the middle, you can choose between parameter setting and performing a batch firmware upgrade. That we'll review later. On the bottom right, you can see additional function buttons. We'll discuss the IP address related ones in this video. The list of cameras provides information about the cameras discovered and can be sorted by the different columns by clicking the column. Making changes to IP addresses. By default, the cameras will ship from Vicon set to DHCP mode. In case a DHCP server is not present, they will show with their link local IP which starts with 169.254 thereon, and connection status unreachable until a valid IP in the network is set. Notice how the IP address related columns show in a blue color. This indicates they can be edited. To edit a specific IP address, double click it. You will be asked to provide the camera username and password, and may choose to apply to all cameras. Once logged in, you can type the new IP subnet or gateway for that device. If you are making changes to multiple cameras, you can save time and just drag down the IP you changed first to the cameras below. This will use the same IP scheme and will advance one address per camera. You can use the same drag and drop action on the subnet and the default gateway, and those will be copied as they are. Once you've made the changes needed, check the box next to the cameras you are ready to apply the changes to. You can select multiple cameras or all of them. Click the Modify IP button on the bottom right to apply changes. You will be asked about the change mode where all will modify the IPs of all selected devices regardless of their DHCP status. And DHCP off only will only change those that are not in DHCP mode. In this video, we'll update all. Allow time for the settings to be applied and the cameras to return to operation. Once completed, you should see the list with the new addresses. You may use the refresh and the discover buttons to search for the cameras again later. In case a DHCP server has been added and you wish to switch all cameras to DHCP mode, you can select them, some or all, and click the open DHCP button. Once more, allow time for the changes to be made and the cameras to return to operation. In a similar way to updating IPs of multiple cameras, the IPC config tool allows to perform firmware updates to one or many cameras. Click on the Batch Upgrade shortcut. You will see the same list of cameras with parameters relevant to the firmware. The firmware files will be published on the Vicon website when they are released, along with the detailed release notes. You will need to download the file and save it to the computer you are using to upgrade the cameras from. At the bottom, you can browse and select your upgrade file, and it will show in the selection line. You can select one, multiple, or all cameras 
by checking the appropriate boxes. When ready, click the upgrade button. Note the tool will upgrade cameras in batches, five at a time, so allow it to circle through all of them without paring down or making any other changes to the cameras. Using IPC config to discover, configure, and upgrade your cameras is simple and effective, especially where VMS Discovery could not find the cameras or where additional functionality is needed. For additional information on these procedures, as well as other capabilities offered by this tool, download the manual from the Vicon website.